Hi everyone, I'm Ben, and we're going to go through how to create an animated material in Level Sequencer. So let's get into it. First off, I'm going to go and say, hey, what's this from my test run? Get rid of it. Get rid of that. And you can see I've just got a default scene here. Otherwise, if I hide the uh, gizmos by pressing G so I can see the, the viewport in game mode, that's the way it looks. And I'm going to just go to my content browser and start by creating, right-clicking and choosing animation, create level sequence. And this will be called fade example. With that created, I need to create a material. So I'm going to right-click and create material. And this is going to be a fade example as well. But this is going to be a master material and we're going to create a material instance from this master material. And so let's go ahead and set up this master material by double clicking it. And I'll pan it over here. And what I'm going to say is, hey, look, I actually want to fade the opacity, for instance. And this is unavailable to me right now. So I'll just change that by going from blend mode opaque to translucent. Whoop. There we go. Translucent. So now how can I drive this translucency channel? Well, one way is I can right click and choose scalar, 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 and choose parameter. With this, I'm going to name this parameter. And so I'm just going to call it opacity amount. That makes sense to me when I'm looking back at it later on and want to know what I'm animating. And so then I'm just going to go and say, hey, what is the default value? Well, let's just see how it looks first. So th this is set to zero. If I wire this in, we should see this disappear. It does beautiful. So I'm going to set the default value to one so that I still see my objects when they have one of these materials applied to them. So the max, well, I'll set that to one. And with that, I'm just going to say, hey, the other thing that I want to be able to animate on my material along with the opacity is uh, the color. So I'm just going to hold three on the keyboard, left click the mouse, and we get a nice little, little vector there. Okay, now we can change the color. The default color, I'm going to double click and choose something that's really just going to stand out a lot in the scene, maybe something like this super green. All right, that's uh, not going to be easily missed. <laughs> I'll save that. And back to the scene we go. So here's our master material. And now I'm just wanting to have an actual, pardon me, instance of that. So I'll right click it, choose create material instance. And this one, I'll, good naming convention I've got is to just call this MI. And I'll get rid of this. All right, now I know what I'm dealing with. I'm gonna double click my material instance. And this one you can see the parent is that fade material. At the moment, I've only got my opacity amount here and I wanted to have the color amount here. So how do we do that? Well, we can double click on our parent here and say, hey, this color is, is fine, but we need to be able to change it over time and reference it. So we need to make this a parameter, like similar to this. At the moment it's not. So I'm gonna right click and choose convert to parameter. Give it a name, something like color. And with that done, I'll apply, save and close. There we go. We now have the color and the opacity amount. So I'm gonna turn on the color because I want to adjust that. Make this something warm that will pop out from that blue sky. And the opacity amount, well, I'll adjust that momentarily in the level sequence. Save, close, and here's my MI fade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this onto this material sphere. And this material sphere needs to be added into the sequence now so that it can be animated. So I'll double click on my level sequence and say, hey, I want to add this selection, so this SM Matte Preview uh, preview Mesh, by clicking on the Add Track, Actor to Sequencer, add the mesh there. Now, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and say, hey, I don't want to actually move or scale or rotate this, so I'm going to go ahead and add a track that is the Static Mesh Component 0, and a track for that Static Mesh Component 0 is Element one, element zero. You can see element zero is the one that we're interested in here. And then the parameters that I'm interested in are the two that we just created. So I'll add color and I'll also add the opacity amount. All right, you can see there's keyframes there and you can turn on your auto key if you want that will automatically add a keyframe as long as you've already got some keyframes set. And so in this case, I want the opacity, I want the opacity to change second. So I'm gonna change my color to something over time. Let's go and drop this down. Yeah, that's nice. Goes all green. I'll record the opacity at that same time and then have it fade out. Exquisite. Okay. 
with that all done, we just want to see this play. And you can see right now if I play, it's not playing. So I'm going to escape out and go back to my, make sure that my level sequence is inside of my viewport and over under the playback, auto play is ticked. Now when I hit Alt P, it plays. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I hope that helps and I'll see you in another video.